Tata Group veteran JJ Rani is all set to move to a new role in the education space. Dr. Rani, who is expected to retire as director of Tata Sons Board when he turns 75 next year, will become the chairman of education company Everon. The company plans to open not just schools but also undergraduate medical colleges. Madhubharti has his exclusive story. He is a man who was at the helm of affairs at Tata Steel for over two decades and is now currently on the board of various Tata companies. Dr. Jamshed J. Irani is now headed to the education sector. Sources say Dr. Irani is all set to be named the chairman of Chennai-based education company Everon Education. Both Dr. Irani and Everon Management could not be reached for a comment. Sources also say Dr. M. S. Vijay Kumar, Senior Associate Dean, at Massachusetts Institute of Technology will also join the board of Everon. Dr. Vijay Kumar has also served in Sam Pitroda's team at the National Knowledge Commission and is also widely regarded as an authority in technology-based education. The way Everon is positioning its growth program going forward, they obviously require a uh, higher amount of capital infusion also. And uh, I think to conduct this growth program properly, you require uh, the dignitaries like Everon is now set to move from its satellite based education and content provision to a more basic format, setting up schools and colleges. One of its divisions, Everon Medical Education, will provide content for medical colleges. The company will also apply for licenses to set up undergraduate medical colleges. These new avenues require not just high investments from Everon, but also large-scale infrastructure development. To aid this, just last week, infrastructure major SKIL and its promoter Nikhil Gandhi completed an open offer for a 21% stake in Everon. In Chennai, Madhubharati, NDTV Profit.